Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to knit stripes using the one row repeat stitch um, using, and using the intarsia technique. I got a question about um, using the one row repeat stitch, uh, which I previously demonstrated in, in a video in which I showed how to make a scarf with that stitch. And I got a question about how to, uh, if you wanted to make an afghan uh, with that stitch, so or something big like a blanket, then how would you how would you make it? Would you have to you know knit various um, stripes of in various colors and then sew them together? And certainly that's one way to do it, but I think it would be a very cumbersome. Knitting it in this technique using intarsia knitting uh, would work really great because you can use uh, multiple colors to create this sort of stripey look, and um, it looks really good on the back side as well with with the weaving interweaving of the yarns and so i'm going to show you how to do that if you want to check out my just plain garter stitch video i've provided a link to that as well in the description field the, the one row repeat stitch pattern is from by stephanie pearl mcphee and i've provided a link um, to her blog spot in which that original pattern was was demonstrated so please go to that that um, site if you want the detailed pattern as well as a link to my um, one row repeat scarf video but let me show you how to do this now with intarsia knitting you need multiple colors uh, or you're going to use your multiple colors whatever colors you want to make your um your scarf or your blanket uh with with the, the different colors and you're going to need separate skeins for each stripe or for each section there is another technique where you kind of carry the yarn using floats towards the back and I'll cover that in a future video. But for this video, um, whatever stripes you need, you're going to need a skein for each one of those. Okay, so right now I have three skeins here for this demonstration and I'm going to do um, just a little bit, a small stripe with this one, with this one and with this one. So the one row repeat pattern itself is a multiple of four stitches plus um, plus two. Right. So in this, um, for this demonstration, I'm going to cast on 26 stitches, but I'm going to cast them in the individual colors. So first, I'm going to start with this with this cream colored skein, and I'm going to use the knitted cast on technique. If you're not familiar with that, I've provided a link to that video of mine, uh, which is a slower demonstration. But I like that technique for this type of casting where you're going to be casting on various colors because it just it just works better, and you'll see why in just a second. So for my very first row, I'm going to, or for my very first color, remember I said it's a multiple of four plus two stitches overall. So in my case, it's going to be eight, eight, eight stitches, which is 24, which is a multiple of four plus two, right? So in my very first section here, I'm going to incorporate those two stitches right here. So I'm going to cast on eight plus two stitches. So a total of 10 stitches just for this first color. So let's see, I have cast on six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now I'm gonna start with my second color. Just leave a, make a loop like that, leave about four inches of a tail. And I'm gonna start uh, or cast on eight stitches with this color, right? And so this is why I like the knitted cast on because I can then, rather than having to make a separate loop with this one, um, if I was doing the long tail cast on, I could just insert it and, and start knitting with that new color. So I'm gonna cast on eight stitches, so seven more. And then the last eight stitches, I'm gonna cast on with this blue color. So again, insert and just start knitting or casting on with that and then you can just pull on this yarn here to tighten it up a little bit and we'll cast on eight stitches here okay so i've cast on a total of 26 stitches eight eight and then here 10 right that adds up to 26 and now we're ready to begin our one row repeat pattern so the pattern itself goes like this you knit the first two stitches. So now we're gonna knit with this, this section, we're gonna knit with this, this light blue yarn, right? We knit the first two stitches, just regular knit. The third stitch, you have to knit through the back loop. So I'm gonna insert the needle into the back loop of the stitch and knit through it and then drop the stitch. And then the fourth stitch is just a purl. So bring the yarn to the front to purl and purl. And that's your repeat for the whole row up to the last two stitches. So I'm just gonna repeat 
in that pattern. So let's see that one more time. The first two stitches are just regular knit. Third stitch is knit through the back loop. Oh. And fourth stitch is a purl. All right, now it gets a little wonky here. And if that happens, you can go ahead and just tie a knot right here, just to tighten it up for now. All right, now I need to keep repeating that pattern, right? Knit two, knit one through the back loop and purl. But now I'm gonna knit this section with the dark blue color. So I'm gonna take this yarn to the back. I'm gonna hold it towards the left side of the work. I'm gonna find my blue yarn. Make sure it's coming from underneath this light blue yarn, right? You can see it's coming from below it. And now I'm gonna knit, continue with the pattern in this color. So it's gonna be knit one. And you'll notice that when we do that, we've trapped this blue yarn underneath here. We've intertwined it. And that's what, that's what intarsia is all about. So I'm gonna knit two and then knit one through the back loop and pull one. And we'll do that repeat one more time. Knit one, knit two, pull through the back loop, and or knit through the back loop rather, and then purl one. And now we've come to this point here. Again, these yarns are a little bit loose. I'm gonna take this tail and I'm gonna tie it right here to this yarn. Tighten it up. So now we transition from this color to this color. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the yarn to the back, I'm going to hold it to the left side. I'm going to find the white yarn, bring it from under this dark blue yarn and insert my needle and knit because then the, you do the pattern repeat, which is knit one, knit two, knit one through the back loop and then pull one. Keep repeating that till you get to the last two stitches. So the rest of this section, I'm going to keep knitting in this color. So I have one more repeat. And then when I get to the last two stitches, it's just knit two, regular knit two. And we knit, and that's it. So now this side, the very first row that you've done, that's the right side, because you are twisting the yarns in the back, right? Whichever side you're twisting the yarns um, on, that side would be considered the, the wrong side and the back side of this work. So this would be the right side, this would be the wrong side. You can add a little clippy marker or something initially, um, but once you once you start to knit it up a little bit, you'll realize that, that it's it's very obvious which is right, which is wrong side. Okay, after you're done with that row, you're gonna turn your work and now you're gonna continue knitting in the pattern. It's the same, it's a one row repeat pattern. So it's the same pattern every row, right? And you just have to you just have to watch when you're doing these transitions between the stripes. So here we go. Now for this one, you're gonna do the pattern, but it's gonna be knit, so it's gonna be knit two, regular knit two, knit one through the back loop and purl. And once more. But remember this one had 10 stitches, not eight stitches, right? So you're gonna have two repeats of that pattern of that knit two, knit one through the back loop and purl one. And then you're gonna have, then the next set of four stitches where, where you're gonna be doing this, it's gonna be two different colors, right? So you just have to pay attention to that. So you're gonna knit one, and knit two. But now we have to switch colors and we have to knit with the blue color. So remember the yarns were twisting on the back side for the first row. Now that back side, you're facing the back side. So your yarns are gonna be twisting on this side. So you're gonna take this yarn, bring it to the back. It's really simple. Take, bring it to the back, hold it to the left side. Now this blue yarn is sitting right here. You're gonna take this. You see how it's already underneath the, the white yarn? So you're just gonna take your blue yarn and bring it out to the front. So now you've twisted these yarns together, right? Now the next stitch is knit one through the back loop, which is fine. You're gonna insert your needle through the back loop and knit that blue stitch. And then purl one, just a regular purl. And continue in that pattern. You can pull on this to tighten it up a little bit on this white yarn that you twisted. And then continue the pattern. So knit one, knit two, Knit one through the back loop and pull one. And now again, knit one, knit two. But now we come to that same point where we have to switch yarns. And so I'm gonna bring this dark blue yarn, the one I'm done with, bring it towards the back, 
hold it to the left, take the blue yarn or the next yarn, bring it over and then start knitting with it, which in this case, the stitches knit through the back loop and then purl. And so you're gonna keep doing this till the last two stitches and the last two stitches will just be a regular knit. And that's it. Okay. And you turn and you continue your work. So again, you're going to start doing the same pattern, knit two, knit one through the back loop, purl one, keep doing this. So on the right side, it's a little bit easy because on the right side, when you start, um, when you do the pattern, because your first group here, or first group of stitches here in that, in that first color are a multiple of eight, you get a nice little break where when you're switching from one color to the other, it's not in the middle of, of that pattern repeat. It's it's the end, right? You've, you've done your knit two, knit, knit one through the back loop and purl one, and then you have to switch colors. So you're gonna take it to the back, make sure this is coming underneath this, this first color, and then you're gonna do it. Um, keep knitting or keep following the pattern, right? So it's a little bit easier on this side versus this side because that, that transition comes in between that, that four stitch repeat that you're doing. But still, I don't think it's too difficult. Um, you just have to pay attention at those transitions and then that's it. On the back side, as long as you're carrying the yarn consistently in the same way, you're gonna get a very nice, neat join or, or transition. The transitions between the colors are gonna look really neat on the back side as well. I haven't done anything to the sample that I've made up. I haven't blocked it or anything. You can see I just used some leftover yarns. Um, to, to knit this up. I was just going to make a small little swatch actually, but then I ended up knitting. Uh, I kept knitting it and I'm thinking now I'm going to maybe make a little pouch out of this. Um, the one thing about doing this type of knitting with multiple colors at the end, you, you are going to have uh, yarns left, yarn tails left, which you then have to weave in. And I've provided a link to how to weave in yarn tails um, to that video of mine. Uh, so that part is a little bit cumbersome. If you want to change colors in, in, or have different colors in stripes as well as in columns, then you can also look at my other intarsia technique um, video in which I've shown you how to then start knitting with the next set of colors across these across these stripes. And um, really, it's you can use this technique for any stitch. Thanks for watching my videos, for subscribing to my channel. If you like the video, do click the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments field for me, and I'll do my best to answer them. Happy knitting all.